this video we are going to make sure that we can't decrypt a bag into itself and by that I mean we need to make sure that whenever we have a bag equipped like this we shouldn't be able to pick it up and then place it in the same bag as as that is it's connected to right because it doesn't make sense to put a bag into itself so besides that we also need to make sure that we can't decrypt a bag if there's not enough room for the items let's say we have these two bags equipped and right now if I took this bag and decrypt it here these two items here would have nowhere to go because this bag here would go here and the two items here would have nowhere to go but right now I can just take it and put it here and two bags just disappeared so those are the two things we're going to fix in this video so the first thing we have to do is to open up our slot script inside the slot script we have to do something on the inside the on pointer click function on the code here on line 124 to 126 we are actually um, decrypting our bag to so say we are adding the item to the inventory and we're removing it from the inventory and then we are removing the icon we are carrying around in our hand so we need to put an if statement around this so let's just make an if statement right here and put these three lines of code into this if statement remember it's the three lines inside the else, the else if that says is the from slot null and it's empty and we're carrying around a bag so it's in here we have to do something so what do we have to do well first of all we need to make sure that we can't put the bag inside itself and we can do that by saying bag dot well my bag script and it shouldn't be the same as the bag we are trying to put it into well we need to know what bag the slot belongs to to be able to do that so to do that we need to select the slot script and go to the top and up here we actually have to make a new property of type bag script called my bag so this one is going to be a reference to the bag that this slot is sitting on so this is a reference to the actual bag that this slot yeah belongs to actually like so with that reference in place we have to set it somewhere and where do we set it well we could actually set it whenever we are adding our slots right so we can go to the add slot script inside the back script let's see here um, where is it we have it over here um, back script and then we go all the way down to the add slots so right now we're just creating a slot and adding it but we can also say that well we just created a slot and we need to tell the slot that the back on that slot is equal to this so we assign the back because the back script creates its own slots whenever it creates a slot it will just say well you belong to me so I have to set this reference so now the slot knows what bag it belongs to so with that in place we can go back to the slot script and go all the way down to on my in my script line 129 and in here we can actually start writing the code for making sure that we can't decrypt it so if back to my back script isn't the same as my bag there we go so let's try to save this and jump back into unity and in here we can run our game and add a bag let's just add one and equip it and then I can shift click it and if I click on my main bag of course it's going to decrypt but if I click on the bag that it belongs to I'm unable to decrypt it because I can't put my bag into itself okay. the other thing we need to make sure is the fact that whenever we decrypt a bag we need to make sure that there's enough space in the inventory so that we can take the items in the bag we are decrypting and put it some put them somewhere else and we can also do that by adding an other if statement in here so basically we need to make sure that our inventory script dot my instance dot my empty slot count is larger than the amount of slot that will be left left after I decrypt the bag. Okay. So first of all we need to create the empty slot count. And the empty slot count is actually created in two ways. We need to create it in the back script and we need to create it in the inventory. So the first part is going to be inside our back script so let's go there so in here we need to create a new property 
because I would like to be able to count how many empty slots each bag has. So in that way, it's easy for me just to figure out how many empty slots do I have and can I decrypt this bag. So I'm going to make a public integer and it's a property called my empty slot count. So this one is going to count how many empty slots there is on this specific bag. So we can do that by saying set in the count to zero when we start. And then I would simply just like to count how many empty slots I have. So I just make it for each loop. And I run through all my slot scripts in the collection called my slots. Because my slots contains all the slots in this bag. Every time I examine one of my slots in in the bag, I would like to check, well, if this slot is empty, then I just add one to my count. And at the end, when I'm done counting, I just return my count. There we go. So now I can count how many empty slots a bag has. Okay. Based on this, I can go to my inventory. Because inside the inventory, I will have to make sure how many slots there is all in all. Because now I can count every slot on the bags, but I need to put the actual count all together from all the bags. So the inventory itself will also have a pop property called my empty slot count. So the difference between this one and the one before is that we are going to count bags instead of slots. So let's see here we can make a count it's zero and then we say for each bag in my bags so for each bag in the bags uh, list here we are going to say we'll count plus equal to bag dot my bag script dot my empty slot count so let's say there is five in the first one and three in the next one well then it will put the number together and put it into count right so we look on, on each bag Every time we look at a bag, we look at all the slots and count them together and return it. We look at all the slots and count them together and return it. And in the end, we will end up with the actual empty slot count. So why is the empty slot count important? Well, it's important because we need to use it in here so that we know if we are able to decrypt the bag or not. And we do that by saying, well, if I'm not e decrypting the bag into itself and that my empty slot count minus the amount of slot there is on the bag I'm trying to decrypt. If that's larger than zero, well, then there is enough space to um, put my bag uh, away. So why is it not larger and equal to zero? Well, if we do this, one item would be missing because right here we are adding an extra item to the inventory, right? We are adding the bag we are decrypting. So to take the bag we are decrypting into account, we have to check, check if it's larger than zero, because it has to be one, has to be one empty slot for us to be able to decrypt the bag. So what we're actually doing is that we take the amount of slot that will be left when we decrypt the bag, and if it's larger than zero, then we are able to decrypt it. So we can try to test it here. Let's try to save and run it. I think I saved. Just gonna make, go back to make sure not saved. And let's try to run this. So I can add a lot of bags here and I equip one of them. So right now, if I would take this slot here and uh, item here and throw it out, if I take this bag and equip it, I wouldn't be able to do it because there's one extra. I equip the one I have in my hand, but there's nowhere for this one to go, right? So if I click here, nothing happens. So if I would take an extra one and delete it, I should be able to decrypt this because if I put this here, there's still one slot left for this one to go. And there we go. So right now we're not repositioning our items. So this one I, that was over here is still disappearing. It's not going in here. But in the next video, we will add the functionality for taking this item that disappeared and putting it back into our original bag here. Okay. So now we have our fail safe for decrypting bags. We're not going to lose a lot of items. Imagine if we had like a lot of different items here over here and and we actually just 
de-equip one of our bags now, we would lose like these nine potions and we, we wouldn't like that. So that's why we just added the functionality we, we had. So now we can't equip this unless there's enough space for the potions to go over here. And that's what we're doing in the next video. So thank you very much for watching. Thanks for watching my video. Please remember that Inscope Studios is a community found page. So please consider clicking the support link on the screen to see how you can support me and get something back in return.